Hi there, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how to upgrade Windows 8 32 uh, bit system to 64 bit. Hope you find this guide useful. If you do, please help me out by clicking the subscribe button below. So if I click right click on this PC, go properties, we can see here got 32 bit uh, Windows 8. So if we want to upgrade this to 64 bit, we need to get the 64 bit install media. So if you go to Google, type in Windows 8 ISO downloads and if you click on this link we'll also put this link in the description of the video so you can just uh, click it directly from there and if you scroll down and click on download tool now it's then going to download uh, an application that we can use to prepare the install media okay the tools now downloaded so if we click run if you get prompted here click yes Okay, so fill out these boxes. I'm from the United Kingdom. Select your version, and if here, of course, we want 64 bit. So, here we can create a, a bootable USB flash drive. Um, so, you can select that option. Or if you want to um, burn this to DVD, you can select ISO. So, if you click next, it's basically going to download a file. Uh, once you've downloaded the file, just right click on it and do burn to disk. And once you've got the install media, put it into your machine and restart your machine. Okay, once you've booted to the Windows 8 install media, you'll get prompted with this screen. So select uh, the correct options and press next. Click on install now. Okay, now you need to enter your product key and press next. I'm just going to pause the video while I do that. Okay, on the next screen, just tick the box here and click Next. Now, we need to select the Advanced option here. It's not possible to just do an upgrade here. Um, so we need to do an Advanced install. Uh, but to do this, it's actually going to format uh, your C drive. So if you do have any files on there that you need to get off, uh, you'll need to boot back into the desktop and make sure you copy them off of the C drive. Um, I'll recommend to copy it to an external USB drive. So as soon as the files are off, uh, come back here and click on Advanced. Um, it automatically sets up um, a system of reserve and then the rest of the disk it will create here. So you don't need to mess around with these options unless, unless you want to split your partition. But anyway most of the time we'll just click next okay press on ok so it's now going to do this, it's going to copy the uh, required files to your C drive, it's going to install Windows so I'm just going to pause this while this process completes okay the last process took about 10 minutes uh, my machine rebooted and it's come to this screen so here we need to enter a name that we want uh, the computer name to be so I'm just going to call it my name hyphen PC. Um, yeah, select the color you want. I'm just going to leave it as default and click next. Um, it's up to you. You can customize. I'd recommend doing customize, but I'm just going to do express to speed up this uh, video a little bit. Okay, it says here it's failed to connect to the internet, so we're going to create a local account. So your username and password and click finish as we can see here it's installing some applications this will be the last step of the install process after this it will take you to the desktop okay we can now see we're at the Windows 8 desktop so I just want to check if it is 64-bit now. So we can see that this uh, program file is 86 folders there. That's usually an indicator it's 64-bit. But if we just right click on there and go properties, we can see here it's registering as a 64-bit operating system. Um, if you did have files on your previous system, they might be there. Like I've copied uh, this file under the temp file, temp folder, sorry. Uh, that's still there 
and if you had anything under the windows folder it's basically renamed it to .old so you can go in there and you can get files maybe you had something on your desktop or in your my documents uh, you can get it back from there uh, but of course it's recommended to back up all your data before you do this process it's possible you could lose your data okay so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video